Kuva Liches are Grenier super soldiers that boast superior stats with powerful weapons. Kuva Liches are mostly unique from one another with different personalities and names. The main reason for hunting Kuva Liches is for their advanced versions of Grenier weapons, also known as Kuva weapons. Kuva weapons have increased stats compared to their regular versions, and can have a bonus elemental damage type of your choosing, maxing at a 60% damage bonus that is calculated a part of the weapon's base damage. In addition, Kuva weapons are unique in that they go beyond the max rank of 30, and cap at rank 40, requiring 5 forma to hit max rank to count towards your personal mastery rank. Kuva liches can also be converted or conquered into allies that can fight by your side after you enter the bleeding out state. They can spawn in any mission, but only stay for 2 minutes. If you are into cosmetics, liches have a 20% chance to spawn with an ephemera, based on the elemental bonus type or progenitor frame you start hunting your lich with. Liches can also be traded to other players, who are into collecting ephemeras and unique liches. Hunting Kuva liches can be considered endgame content, and requires you to be further along in both your personal mastery rank and quest lines. It is also recommended you have a wide variety of upgraded mods and strong frames that either help you with damage or survivability. To unlock Kuva Liches, you first need to have completed the quest The Second Dream. This quest can be unlocked by completing the Neptune Junction on Uranus. Second, if you haven't already joined a clan, join one. Ask in the recruiting channel or ask your friends if you can join theirs. By being invited to a clan, you will get a clan key that can be built in your foundry. Once you are in a clan, you can start the Rising Tide quest, which will guide you on the process of building a Railjack. You will need a Railjack in the last part of hunting your Kuva Lich. Third, achieve Mastery Rank 5, which will allow you to complete the Sedna Junction on Pluto, unlocking the War Within questline. And finally, complete the War Within questline, which will unlock the ability to start hunting Kuva Liches. With the War Within completed, if you play on any Grenier mission that is level 20 or higher, they will spawn one Kuva Larveling after your screen flashes like so, which requires you to defeat at least 10 enemies in under 1 minute for your Larveling to spawn. A unique icon will appear, indicating that your Larveling has spawned, and when defeated will show you what weapon you can start hunting for. My go-to mission for spawning Kuva Larvelings is playing solo on the capture mission Cassini on Saturn. Keep in mind that only one larveling will spawn per mission. If you are after a specific Kuva weapon, finish the mission without killing the larveling, and a new weapon will show up in the repeated mission. Currently, there are a total of 19 weapons that will show up once in the rotation. If you accidentally miss the weapon you are after, you will have to repeat the mission until your weapon finally appears again. Once you have determined the Kuva weapon you are after, you might want to consider what elemental bonus damage type you want on your weapon. Before you start your mission to kill a Kuva Larveling, it is important to choose a frame based on the elemental type you want your Kuva weapon to have. This is known as a progenitor frame. Each frame fits into a category of elements that when equipped and when killing your Kuva Larveling will determine the weapon's bonus elemental type. If you are unsure what progenitor frame to choose for your weapon, or you are just leveling these up for mastery rank purposes, it is almost a safe bet to choose any toxin frame for your elemental bonus type. If you are still unsure, ask around in chat, or look up builds on sites like overframe.gg and see what elemental bonus types people are using. For my purposes, I am after the Kuva Nucor, and will be choosing a magnetic progenitor frame as my elemental bonus type. Once I have killed my Kuva Larveling and finished my mission, it will spawn my Kuva Lich, with the equipped weapon the Kuva Nucor. Keep in mind that you can only have one active Lich at a time. If you want a new Lich or weapon, you have to go through the process of vanquishing or conquering your Lich to start spawning new Kuva Larvelings. Another important note is that you only need to use your progenitor frame when killing your Kuva Larveling and spawning your Lich. Once you start hunting your Lich, you can use whichever frame you want. With my Kuva Lich spawned, we can now view information on our Lich. This information tells us their level, with 1 being their weakest and 5 being their strongest, their name, the abilities they will use against us, their rage meter, which represents the possibility for them to spawn in a given mission, their weaknesses and resistances, both based on elemental damage types, their weapon they are carrying slash we are hunting for, and their bonus elemental damage type from our chosen progenitor frame. If they have an ephemera, which they have a 20% chance to spawn with one, it will show up cosmetically on your lich. My current lich does not have an ephemera. Before we explain Requiem attempts and modifying your Parazon, 
it is time to start progressing towards hunting your Kuva Lich and filling out Requiem Murmurs. Your Lich will now occupy a planet, shown by the red haze over the mission types, or when clicked, will show controlled territory. These mission types are the same missions you are used to, but now have increased enemy levels and unique enemies known as Thralls, that will spawn periodically throughout your missions. When you complete any missions in these controlled territories, your Lich will steal a portion of your rewards. Don't worry though, as once you get to the last part of defeating your Lich, you will get all your rewards returned to you. Your Lich will start out indifferent towards you, meaning that it is less likely to spawn in a given mission. With more missions and thralls defeated, your Lich will get angrier and angrier until they become enraged at you, giving them the highest chance to spawn during your missions. Before you engage and try to defeat your Kuva Lich, it is important that you continue to kill thralls. Killing a thrall will result in a Requiem Murmur, with the more thralls killed, you will slowly fill out and discover the Requiem mods required to defeat a Kuba Lich. If your Lich spawns during your mission, it is not enough to just down your Lich. You need the correct sequence of Requiem mods equipped on your Parazon to successfully defeat your Lich. With a filled out Murmur, when you complete a mission, it will reveal one of the mods out of three required to defeat your Lich. It is recommended to complete and kill as many thralls and missions as you can to discover all three mods required to defeat your Lich. You should fill out all three Murmurs so you know which mods to obtain. If you attempt to defeat your Kuva Lich without any Requiem mods, or your mods are in the wrong order, it will significantly fill out your Requiem Murmur, but it will also make your Lich flee to a different planet, reset their rage meter, and make them stronger by one level. If you are struggling to defeat your Lich when they spawn, and do not have the proper Requiem mods equipped, avoid attempting to attack them to prevent them from leveling up and becoming stronger. Yeah, it's a cool f***ing game! Until you discover the required mods to defeat them, it is a safer idea to attempt attacking them once you are finished filling out each Murmur. You do not have to attempt attacking your Lich if they spawn in order to complete the mission. It is important to note that if you are in a squad and your teammate kills a Thrall, you will also get progress towards your Murmurs. In addition, if your squad mates have an active Lich that spawned in your mission, and they attempt to defeat their Lich without the correct sequence of Requiem mods, it will also count towards everyone's Murmur progress. It is faster to fill out your Murmurs when playing in a squad. To get Requiem mods, you must open Requiem Relics. There are a total of four Relics that you can get. Each Relic has a chance to drop one reward, but most importantly, Requiem mods. To get these relics, you have multiple options to choose from. You can do Kuva Siphon missions found in the Alert tab for a 50% chance for a random relic, and Kuva Flood missions that guarantee a 100% chance for a random relic. Alternatively, killing thralls in controlled territories have a small chance to drop these relics. Once you have a multitude of relics, you can start cracking them open under the Void Fissures tab in the Requiem Fissure missions. These missions work just like ordinary Void Fissure missions, and that the goal is to obtain 10 Void Fissures and complete your mission, allowing you to choose one reward from everybody's cracked relics. You have the ability to upgrade your Requiem Relics before going into a mission using Void Traces. This will increase the likelihood that a Requiem mod will drop from your cracked relics, but you undoubtedly will get many relics, making it not necessary to upgrade these relics. If this all sounds like too much of a grind for you, you can alternatively buy the Requiem Relics or the mods from the Warframe Market site or ask in trading chat. You can trade with the existing Requiem mods you have or with Platinum. Once you have discovered all three Requiem Murmurs and obtained the required mods, it is now time to equip them by modifying your Parazon. The Requiem Murmurs only tell you which mods will defeat your Kuva Lich, but not the correct order to put your mods in. With all three mods discovered, it is now time to experiment with which order to put your mods in and attempt to defeat your Lich. Continue to do your missions and kill thralls until your Lich spawns. Once your Lich has spawned, attack them until a section of their health is depleted, where they will enter a down state. In this state, you will be prompted to use your Parazon to see if your first Requiem mod is in the correct order. If it is not in the correct order, your Lich will flee, gain one level, and reset the rage meter. Keep in mind the highest level a Kuva Lich can achieve is rank 5, which you can hopefully avoid by discovering all Requiem mods before attempting to kill your Lich. The active Lich tab will also display your Requiem attempts and which mods were in the correct order and which ones were in the wrong order. If your mods were in the correct order, your Kuva Lich will still flee, but will flee to the final part of your hunt, where you finally get to conquer or vanquish your Lich in a Railjack mission. 
Keep in mind that if your mods were successfully used on your Lich, it will use up one of the charges on the three mods equipped on your Parazon. Requiem mods have three charges that when depleted will no longer be usable on your Parazon, making them defiled. You can go to the modding section on your ship and take these defiled mods and transmute them into one new Requiem mod. In addition to figuring out and successfully making your Lich flee with the right sequence of mods, you will have a 25% chance to get a Ul mod when you complete your mission, which will count as any Requiem mod in one slot on your Parazon that you can use on future Kuva Lich hunts. If you have all the right Requiem mods, but are still struggling to even kill your Lich, here are some quick tips. Keep in mind that there is not one correct way to damage your Lich, and you should find ways that work for you. Always make sure to mod your weapons based on the weaknesses your current Lich has. If your Lich is not resistant to corrosive or viral status types, you can try modding your weapons to one of those elements, as Grenier's armor is weak to corrosive, and their flesh is weak to viral. In terms of weapons to try and use, some are better than others, but in general, if modded to adapt to your Lich's weaknesses, you should be able to kill them with any weapon that works best for you. Many people swear by high fire rate, high multi-shot weapons modded for crit like the Cedo. Some swear by more basic shotguns like the Heck, also modding to increase its base damage, multi-shot, and fire rate. Many people use weapons modded for high critical chance, like the Rubico Prime, Nell Prime, or the Magnus Prime and others love the fast-firing, high multi-shot weapons modded for crit, like the Cycron or Maze's Regulators. If you have gun blades, like the Strofa, Vastlock, or Redeemer Prime, they should make fast work against your Liches. It is important to note that Kuva Liches have damage attenuation, which means they gain increased damage reduction based on how much damage they are taking initially. Don't worry though, as this does reset after a short while. This means that high damage weapons like shotguns will do a big amount of damage at first, and on the following shots, the Lich will take reduced damage. Weapons like the Hex should be weak against Liches, but I personally find them to work best for me, even if I have to wait a short while for their damage attenuation to reset. In terms of frames you could try using, you can't go wrong with any stealth based frame. Frames like Loki or Ivara, modding to increase the duration of their stealth, will make sure you stay out of harm's way, giving you free access to get headshots off on your Lich. If you don't have those frames, you can always rely on Rhino's Roar to increase your damage and Iron Skin to protect you while trying to kill your Lich. Other frames that will increase your damage and protect you are Revenant for his first, second, and third abilities. This frame will protect you while easily depleting your Lich's health. Another great choice is Banshee, for her second ability, that will track enemies' weak spots that when focusing your attacks on, will do massive amounts of damage. If you really want to make trivial work of your Lich, you can't go wrong with Maze's abilities. Maze's second ability will give you extra damage, their third will help protect you, and their fourth makes locking on your Lich a breeze. If you're further along in your focus trees, Xenoric's Temporal Drag will help slow down your Lich's movements and attacks, giving you more time to line up headshots. Alternatively, whatever frames and weapons work for you should be used, but don't be afraid to experiment or change things up. If you are still struggling to kill your Lich, you can always ask in the recruitment channel for help. With your Lich now retreating to the Railjack mission on Saturn, you will need to make sure your Railjack is up for the fight having decent components, armaments, and upgrades. If your Railjack is not properly upgraded, don't worry though, as you can always join someone else's squad. Usually you will always get into a squad just by joining the mission, where you can utilize the host's Railjack. The Railjack mission is a typical skirmish mission, requiring you to defeat a certain number of fighters and cruise ships. Once that objective is completed, you will move into the Galleon, where you and your squad mates will each get a turn to face your Koopa Liches. Just help your fellow Tenno kill their Liches, then wait for your Lich to show up in the rotation. Start attacking, and finally use your Parazon on your Lich. You will now be presented with a choice to either convert or vanquish your Lich. Vanquishing your Lich will allow you to obtain their Kuva weapon. Converting your Lich will make you lose access to their weapon, but you will gain your Lich as an ally. When you make your choice, you will have a 25% chance to get a Requiem Ultimatum which allows you to instantly summon a Lich you might be hunting for in the future, regardless of their rage meter. For my purposes, I want my Lich's weapon, so I will vanquish them. When you complete your mission, you will notice that you have recovered every item your Lich has stolen from you. When you return to your orbiter, you will be greeted by a message in your inbox, showing you that the weapon is in your foundry, 
With the weapon now in your equipment, you can see the elemental bonus percentage next to its name. Remember, the max percentage the elemental bonus type on a Kuva weapon can achieve is 60%. If you were to go through the process of getting another Kuva Nucor, you can do something called Valence Fusion. Valence Fusion is the process of fusing your two weapons together to increase the bonus percentage of elemental damage. This allows you to switch the elemental type of your weapon based on the progenitor frame you spawned your Lich with. This will give you the option to choose which element you want on your weapon, but make sure you choose wisely. If you already applied Formas or an Orican Catalyst to your existing Kuva weapon and fuse it into the new weapon, you will have to reapply Formas and Catalyst and fully level it up once again. If you fuse the new weapon into the existing weapon, you will keep all your upgrades. There is a handy article on the Warframe Wiki that helps break down the number of times you will have to fuse your weapons together to achieve an elemental bonus damage of 60%. If you decide to not go through with the process of Valence Fusion, you will still have a powerful weapon at your disposal when modded properly. If you decide to conquer your Lich, you will still recover all your stolen items, and when you return to your orbiter, you will receive a message from your converted Lich, receiving any Ephemeras or sigils they had equipped. You can view your Lich in your Codex, and you can either keep your Lich, or try and sell or trade them with other players. Generally, people will buy Liches for unique names, the way they look, the weapon they have equipped along with the elemental bonus type, and whether or not they have an Ephemera. If you are unsure what price to sell your Lich for, you can compare your Lich to a similar one by people currently trying to sell their Lich on the Warframe Market site. If you found someone to buy or trade your Lich, invite them to your dojo and find your dojo's Crimson Branch, which is the only room you can trade Liches in. This might all sound very daunting, but once you start getting into the rhythm of hunting Kuva Liches, it will get faster the more you do it. And if you get a couple of Ool mods during the Requiem process, it will make hunting Liches even faster, as you potentially won't have to discover all three Requiem mods. Kuva weapons are some of the most powerful weapons in the game, and are well worth the effort of getting some or all of them. I hope this guide has helped you, and make sure to check the description for links to the wiki with even more detailed information I may not have covered. Please like, share, and comment if you have any questions, or if you would like me to make guides on anything else in Warframe. Please feel free to leave any constructive criticism, or join me live on Twitch every Thursday and Sunday, where I can hang out with you and try and help you in real time. Thanks for watching, and good luck!